Man United are back in action on the 31st of December. Forget all about the new year, forget about resolutions. It's all about Manchester United versus Wolves. Let's get into the preview. Form wise, we have two teams on the opposite end of the spectrum. Wolves are in 18th with only three wins all season, but they do have Julian Lopetegui who's come in as their new manager and they're hoping to continue that new manager bounce that they had against Everton, against United. United, on the other hand, 16 wins out of the last 21 matches. A really, really big, impressive turnaround by Eric Ten Hag and hopefully we can go into this pick up a few more goals hopefully get three more big big points to move us up that league table Manchester United of course one point of fourth position with a game in hand this could be a big opportunity for United to make a top four space their own in the new year so the key man in this match for me is going to be Bruno Fernandes the Portuguese is in fantastic form for Manchester United in his terms of his overall game not putting up the usual goals and assists that we typically expect of Bruno he has a much more all-rounded game which is really benefiting Manchester United this season so so far he has five goals, five assists, which are pretty good numbers for an attacking midfielder. Looking at his underlying numbers, they are absolutely fantastic, as always with Bruno. 32 chances created, the most in the entire Premier League, and yet Man United cannot score on a consistent basis it just highlights the real issues that we have up front and the real need we have to bring in a proper striker to put the ball in the back of the net on a consistent basis if United can do that if we can bring somebody in in January we really could be on for a very very good season in this match Bruno will be absolutely essential his link up with Christian Eriksen Rashford Anthony Martial will be so so crucial in terms of breaking down that Wolves low block they're five at the back as we know Wolves do not play entertaining football they will sit back and try to hit United on the break so our creative players are going to have to have a very very good match create plenty of chances and let's just hope that we can take a couple of chances against Jose Sa who is a fantastic keeper in his own right but Bruno's performance will be essential in this match. So this is the team I would pick to beat Wolves. So in gold, of course, can be David De Gea. Martin Dubravka has not impressed me this season when he's played. He's looked very, very suspect on the ball. Moving on to right back, Aaron Wambasaka will continue and hopefully continue his very good form against Burnley and Nottingham Forest and carry it into this match. He was very, very impressive in those two matches for me and he has done very well in Diogo Dallo's absence. Moving into centre-back, it's going to be Rafael Varane and unfortunately it's going to be Harry Maguire. I know a lot of people aren't going to be happy with that but I don't think we can rely on Luke Shaw at centre back when it isn't his natural position I'm going to pick Shaw at left back in this match because we need that creativity we need his on ball ability and that quality to help unlock Wolves low block moving into the midfield it's going to be the same three that picks itself week in week out it's going to be Casemiro best defensive midfielder in the league absolutely fantastic player Christian Eriksen as well been playing very well in his last two matches a goal and an assist Bruno will start at 10 as well moving into the forward line Rashford will pick himself off that left hand side 10 goals already this season he is in fantastic form and really is back to his best looking at the striking position it's going to be Anthony Martial for me scored against Nottingham Forest and he will hopefully score in this match as well on that right hand side is where it starts to get interesting because Garnacho wasn't great against Burnley Anthony was was not good against Nottingham Forest but for me I'm going to go for Anthony because he just adds a little bit more width and brings more balance onto that right hand side in this match we need to make the pitch as big as possible and we need players to hold the width Anthony will hold that width that little bit better on that right hand side than Garnacho for me so just how do United beat Wolves well as singled out earlier Bruno Fernandes will be absolutely key in this match in three previous defeats for Wolves the number 10 for the opposition has always had a big big say in the outcome of the match against Arsenal, Martin Odegaard scored twice in a 2-0 win for Arsenal and then against Brighton we saw Adam Lallana score as Brighton won against Wolves and James Madison had a really good match against Wolves in a 4-0 win for Leicester so Bruno and Eriksen will be essential in this match, our creative players need to be picking three balls out looking for balls in behind, find the space because there will be space on the pitch, we just have to find it and if Eriksen and if Bruno link up with Rashford, Martial Anthony really really well, United can create opportunities, get some shots in a goal and hopefully with the form of Marcus Rashford with the form of Anthony Martial United can get that first goal it will be a case in my opinion that the first goal could win this for Manchester United Wolves are not scoring a lot of goals if we do score and score early Wolves will have to come up the pitch and that will leave more space in behind for United to get in time and time again pick them off and get another win under the belt but with all that in mind it is time for predictions so for me United will find it hard going in this match Wolves will sit back they will soak up a lot of pressure and United really will struggle to break them down 
if we don't score early. The early goal could decide this match for me. If United get it, I feel like we will go on to win this fairly comprehensively. I'm going to predict a 2-0 win for Manchester United. Goal scorers Anthony Martial, who loves a goal against Wolves, and Marcus Rashford, going to continue that great, great form that he's currently in. Let me know what your predictions are down below, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new for all the content coming up, and I will see you in the next one.